So in this uh, video we're going to explain a bit about a certain map mu that appears in the uh, theory of barycentric subdivision and simplicial approximation. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, here uh, this shows a certain simplicial complex which we'll call K. Okay. And, uh, and this is the uh, barycentric subdivision of K. So the, uh, you know, here is one of the uh, original uh, ver simplices, a two simplex of K. And it's got uh, subdivided into six smaller simplices. Uh, or here, this is one of the original edges of K. And, you know, every ed every one of the original edges of K gets split in the middle, divided into two shorter edges. And so that's how barycentric subdivision works. Now, <clears throat> there's two ways that we relate um, the uh, barycentric subdivision K prime to the original complex K. Uh, on the one hand, you know the uh, the bar if we just take the geometric realization, um, well, in this picture it kind of looks like the geometric realization of k prime is just the same space as the geometric realization of k. According to our official definitions, that's kind of not quite how it is, but there, there's at least a, uh, you know, there's a, ca a canonical homeomorphism that we're calling beta. So uh, beta is a homeomorphism from the geometric realization of k prime to the geometric realization of k, which is basically a uh, what we see by from this sort of subdivision of the original uh, original space into uh, smaller simplices, but as, uh, so that's a, a beta. That's a nice map. It's a homeomorphism, but it's not a simplicial map. I mean, a simplicial map has to send vertices to vertices, and of course, this uh, this beta is sending uh, this vertex here. This is a vertex of k prime, and it's not being sent to a vertex of k. It's being sent to the kind of middle of a simple middle of a triangle of k. So, uh, so this beta is not a simplicial map. Um, but uh, but we but there is a, another simplicial map that we can consider this thing that's called mu and so we need to sort of have a understanding of uh, of the geometry of this mu and it's kind of like this so here um, as we do the slider the all the vertices are moving to the images under mu so this you know, here we've got a vertex we've got the image of a vertex under beta and there's the image of the same vertex under mu here's another vertex uh, Im image under beta and but under mu it goes here another vertex of the subdivision and under mu that's going to go there um, so that's th this is kind of the picture uh, of the action of the map mu and the way it works you see it, it's kind of coded by how we've, we've uh, colored all these triangles here so each of the original triangles of k has got, got split into six and uh, into split sub -triangle. one of those is green uh, and what happens under mu is that the green triangles get stretched out to cover the whole of the original triangle. Right? Um, some of these uh, these smaller triangles are, um, are marked in this kind of pinky color, and the pinky colored ones all just get collapsed down to a single point. Um, so uh, all of these little pinky triangles are getting collapsed down right down to just this this vertex here. That's what mu does to the pink triangles. And then these kind of uh, purpley triangles. Uh, that's a little bit, a uh, little bit intermediate. So uh, <clears throat> if we look at this purple triangle here, for example, and this vertex here stays where it is. These two vertices move over to here. So, uh, so the triangle actually gets flattened out onto a line. This whole triangle here gets flattened onto this line here, but uh, it's not quite as extreme as the pinky triangles that get all squashed down just to a single point. And so this is what happens to one of these. Each of these uh, purpley triangles, they get stretched out and stretched out, so they become very thin, and eventually they get uh, squashed onto a line. So that's this map mu, and as I say, um, there's a bunch of stuff in the notes about how we use this mu uh, to prove things about uh, simplicial approximation and the barycentric subdivision.